Hi, my name is Nate Mast, and I am the youth pastor here at ICF. Uh, pastor Peter, he is going through a series right now on the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments, they are um, instructions that God gave to Moses to give to the people of God so that they would know how to obey him. So we're going to be looking at those. We're going to look at the first one today. Do you know where in the Bible uh, the Ten Commandments are found? So they're found in Exodus and also in Deuteronomy. But we're going to be looking in Exodus chapter 20, and verse 3 is where the first commandment is. And it says, You shall have no other gods before me. So uh, next, uh, Shanna, my wife, and our son Levi, they're going to lead you in a lesson that will demonstrate uh, some lessons about how uh, we should put God first in our lives. Hey guys, here's Levi to demonstrate the first commandment of the Ten Commandments. See that big glass jar in the middle of the screen? That represents each of our lives. We fill up our lives with what's important to us. Let's begin. Family is a super important part of our lives. We spend nearly every day with our family, especially this year. Next up, friends are so valuable. It's healthy to have good friends you can count on. School and getting an education is a big part of our lives. Even when it's difficult sometimes, it's good to try your best in your classes, whether online or in person. The water represents extra stuff. Maybe you play a sport or a musical instrument. You have playtime, bedtime, meal times. Everything extra fills up our lives. The lemon represents God. Wow, we've really filled up our life with a bunch of other things. It's tough to squeeze God in because if he comes after all the other things, we end up making a mess. Now, let's try again. This time, God comes first in our lives. This is how it should be. Now we can add the rest, like our family, our friends, school, and getting a good education, and all the extras. Look at that. Everything fits so nicely when God is number one in our lives. God is number one. When God tells us, you shall have no other gods before me, he's talking about gods with a little g. God with a little g is anything that we value more than our God with a big g. Even if the things we value are good, like friends and family and school, those are all good things. But when we put them as more important than God, it becomes a bad thing and we break this commandment. God wants to be at the center of our lives so that He can be glorified through us and guide us with His Holy Spirit. So let's go from here today and put God first in our lives. God is number one. 